just had my breakfast. It was one of the best cafes in Yerevan so far. The staff is so kind. I also tipped the waitress and she was smiling and just... She was so grateful for that. Maybe it doesn't happen that often to them, but I could see her pure happiness. So I'm glad that I kind of made somebody's day, I guess. I ordered uh, French toast and uh, cappuccino. Prices were fair, but um, it could be cheaper. Uh, since I'm traveling on a budget, I need to control myself, you know about this because I love all of this beautiful tasty food and of course it's usually pricey so for lunch let's try to find something beautiful and less pricier I'm going to explore the top part of Yerevan today let's head out for the cascade I think it's called and there is maybe also French square if I'm not wrong I can be wrong I don't remember it but I've got Google Maps downloaded so let's go also you can notice that most of the armenian buildings are kind of pink rosy and this is because these constructions were made from the pink volcanic rocks and that is so cool sit and talk a little before we go and climb over this cascade so i'm in yerevan for two days which is already today and tomorrow and in these two days i want to capture the most of it uh, that's why i chose the hotel in the center and maybe i did overpay and it could have been cheaper but at least i'm close to all the possible things to see. I didn't really plan to visit this city but I'm so happy I did. I like to change, you know, the place where I live I guess as much as I can allow it to myself now. The change of habitat really helps. Also about the money exchange. In Yerevan it is so easy. In every convenience grocery store they have the exchange place. I'm also going to show it a bit later today because I need to buy water and some other things to the hotel room. And the rate there is normal. I would say, but I read that most people say it is much more convenient to exchange money at the banks or using the Unistream. I want to try and withdraw my money from the bank, but you know, I'm scared that it will not be possible due to all of this block on Russian cards. Nevertheless, let's try it. If it doesn't work, we can use Unistream. So what I recommend is to bring money in cash, not in card. It is much faster and easier for you to exchange money in this way. Because I made a mistake and put most of my money on the card. And I don't really to withdraw rubles here. I don't think it's even possible, honestly. So let's sit a bit more. I like to people watch. It may be weird, but people here dress very nice. I'm not saying that Russian people don't have sense of style, but here it's a different vibe. Maybe because it's different culture. And it's so interesting just to watch, you know, without any weird backup thoughts just to enjoy this people, this country. I like to dive literally inside of the culture, trying to accept it, trying to live a life how locals do here. I think that's the only way to travel on Max. Yeah, I like the people, I like the country, I like the culture, so let's go. Will we go through all these stairs to the top? Of course. I don't know how much it's gonna take. Let's see. I 
I decided to take a rest for a while here. And I wanted to talk about the fact that most people say that the main minus of traveling alone is the fact that nobody can take pictures or videos of you, you know? But if you buy a tripod, you don't even need anyone. Just an example. We're almost at top, as you can see. And I'm not sure, but I think when it's summer, from these things, which you see, there is a water coming out, so it's all a big fountain, which is beautiful, if you imagine this. Just when I thought that I made it to the top and I was so happy, look how beautiful, I see that there is someone further through the fence. So now we need to go all the way here and there. Stairs again and then again. days to spend at Yerevan, I would definitely visit or at least go close to the mountain Ararat. It is the most known one. I think it's not actually located in Armenia but rather in Turkey. But you can see it from here. It is close to Yerevan. You need to have a car for that because it is not in the city so you have to you have to get out from here, basically. Sorry, it's windy and my tripod is like... You know, Armenia is one of the ancient countries in the world. So all the masterpieces are not in the city. But I'm happy with what I have. Also, I don't think that I would want to order a cab and drive alone out of the city and explore it alone in the mountains where there is no connection, nothing, you know? Just simply for the safety purposes, that is not a good thing to do. Because it's better to be prepared for everything and if you know that there is a higher possibility for something to happen, don't challenge yourself knowing what the outcome can be. Stay safe. Honestly, I think it doesn't even matter if you travel alone or with a friend because I heard a story from a girl. She was in Turkey in Istanbul with her friend and in the evening when they were coming back to their hotel uh, there was this narrow street which they took and while they were robbed they took even their passports you know, a broad passport and it's not a very good situation when <laughs> you happen to face it. So be careful. It's better to take a longer route, but you know that it is crowded, you can shout for help and you're gonna be okay. Take care, as I said, it's important especially during travels. Not even travels, in your home country as well. It can happen to you everywhere. It doesn't mean that you're safe in your own country. It is just like everywhere else. <laughs> this is unfortunately the world we live in. I looked at my uh, Google Maps. I created a few folders like for breakfast, lunch, dinner. And there is this cafe, it's really this one. It's called Hike Coffee Roasters, I think. So let's go check it out. But I didn't really want to have coffee. I wanted food, you know, like normal food, something nutritious. <laughs> let's see. my lunch 
it was not what I expected but it's fine anyway and I found the exchange place of course they accept only cash which I don't have but close to this place there are also two ATMs I tried one of them, it worked. I withdrew 20,000 uh, Armenian drums. I have no internet to check what's the fee and if there is even a fee. So once I'm back to the hotel, I'm gonna definitely share with you. There is Unibank and Ararat Bank and I chose this one. Picking up things I want to take with myself. I'll explain why I take them a bit later. It's starting to rain again when I was in the grocery store. So basically, uh, my family asked me to bring something home, something what we don't have in Russia, and what can be better than snacks. So I've brought some Kinder things I've never seen. Some cocoa from M&M &M. never seen that too and some cookies well and some food to eat now